let's talk about pipes. Yeah, no, not, not that kind of pipe. <laughs> not that kind of pipe either. Hell no, not that kind of pipe. I'm talking about stove pipes. You know, these kinds of stove pipes for your wood burning stove. What is going on friends? Welcome back to the channel. I have been getting a lot of questions regarding hot tents and hot tent stoves and a lot of questions regarding specifically the pipes that have to do with these hot tent stoves. Here are the main questions. Hey Rob, what's better? Stove pipe sections or a roll up pipe? Unfortunately, this is one of those things where the answer really is, it depends. A couple of quick things regarding the materials that these stove pipes are made from. The two main ones are titanium, like what these two things are, and there's also steel. Both really, really good. The biggest difference is gonna be weight. Steel is gonna be a little bit heavier, and also steel is gonna retain heat just a little bit longer than the titanium. What if you had a mix of steel pipes and titanium pipes? Can you interchange those? Yeah, you can. Can you take a titanium stove and put steel pipes on it? Yes. And then of course, if you have a steel stove, can you put titanium pipes on it? Yes. But here are the two biggest differences between a roll-up pipe and a stove and a stove pipe section. One is simple portability. I would much rather pack this one thing than all of these. Not only that, this is much lighter than these pipe sections. And the second biggest reason is ease of use. Stacking the stove pipe sections is so much easier. On these pipes, there's a flared end and a smaller end. Just make sure that the smaller end goes into the flared end. It's, it's pretty simple and it's very, very fast. Done. That's it. Super easy to do. And then the roll-up pipe is much more involved to put together. It's got these steel rings. Do not lose these rings. And you gotta roll this thing out. The good news is this has already been burned a bunch so it's got this memory. Rolling this pipe up for the first time is a huge pain in the ass. Just take a look at this. This is gonna be brutal. And just start rolling. And this is gonna... Doing this out in the wind, straight garbage. It, it's, it's, a, it's a nightmare, an absolute nightmare. Out of the wind, it's like trying to roll up a, a kite or something. It's not fun. I have to start over. Right here. That's messing with me. Uh, okay, I, I kinda, I kinda got it. Kinda. One ring on the far side. Hold it with my foot. Get this end ring on. It wants to come unfolded down the end so bad. Ooh, it wants to twist, it wants to twist. Took like five tries for this thing, and uh, I, I don't know if it was worth the trouble. This was, I mean, it's still creased. It's not smooth. Um, this is it. Hey, <sighs> that was the first time I ever tried that. I actually ruined that pipe. I had to buy another pipe so I can get it to look this pretty. But like I said, once it's burned, it kind of preforms but you still have to roll it together and slide these pipes on. 
and now you got to work down the pipe and work down the rings as you go. That was actually the fastest I've ever done this. <laughs> but there's your pipe, a lot more involved. Like I said, once it's been burned in a few times, it's much, much easier. But that first roll with a brand new roll up stove pipe, it's brutal. Another question I get fairly often regarding the roll up pipes is can you use a 45 or a 90 degree elbow with one of these? Yeah, you can. You just get your stove like you normally would. There's a small end of your elbow, just like the stove pipes are. Roll one of your rings back to create a little bit more room here so the pipe will flare. The big end goes on the stove, so the little end goes in the pipe. Just like that. Slide your ring as close to it as you can. That's gonna lock that, that elbow right in there. And then you simply slide it over your stove. That's it. This is a steel elbow. This is a titanium pipe. Yes, you can mix these two. Let's talk about spark arresters. What are they? They're there to arrest sparks. This is basically to help prevent embers from flying out of your stovepipe and then landing on your tent causing little burn marks. The fixed pipe section that I have has a built-in spark arrester. This is basically designed to help the fixed pipe already has like a laser cut in spark arrester, so there's nothing to shift around on these. However, not all of these pipe sections have a cut in spark arrester. For roll up stove pipes and plain edge pipe sections, a lot of times you'll receive just a separate spark arrester. Now, the one thing that you have to keep in mind with something like this is once you install this over your pipe section, whether it's fixed or even a roll-up pipe, I use it with my roll-up pipe, once you put it over the stove pipe section, it can have a tendency to shift down all the way, if I can get it here, there we go. If it shifts down all the way, it'll actually block the exit of your exhaust pipe. That's gonna cause a backdraft. You're gonna get smoke leaking back through your stove and into your tent, and it's a disaster. You wanna make sure that your spark arrester is up and on top of the pipe so you can actually see through it. How do you get it to do that? On these particular style spark arresters, there's these little tabs here. You can see them. These are all straight, these are not bent. This has the same exact one, but I bent those in. Not real far, maybe just 45 degrees. Those little tabs are what's going to prevent this from sliding all the way down onto the pipe and sealing it because those little tabs actually rest on the top of the stove pipe. I hope you can see that. Questions? One of the biggest tips I will have for you in just your wood stove setup is to anchor your stove to the ground. What the hell does that mean? Basically, once you have your stove set anywhere and you put your stove pipe on, now that seems fine, right? However, if there's a big wind or someone trips over something or your tank gets knocked down and there's a fire inside, it's a big hazard. It's very easy for the stove to just do this. That's not good. You want to take your top section with the spark arrester, whether it's the one built into the pipe or a separate piece, and you want to make sure you can anchor it. For this process, you're going to want to take your spark arrester section or even the spark arrester attachment, and you want to attach guidelines to this. Now, this one, I installed just some key rings. You know, they're simple, nothing fancy, just regular old key rings. Even paper clips would work to, for that. You just don't want to tie directly to the stovepipe. You want that separation for heat dissipation. You're going to need three guy lines and three stakes. What I like about these particular stove section, it, it's made by Pomali, which is the same kind of stove I have as well, is they actually give you guy lines and they give you these little, these little metal clips. You know, they're just little kind of springy little metal clips with two little hooks that hook out. 
And these are simply designed to just attach to the pipe. Just stick them in like this, and then it spreads out and now you got your guy lines attached. It's, it's pretty slick. You wanna do your best just to kind of get it, you know, equally, triangularly <laughs> as possible. Triangular as possible. It won't be perfect, but it'll be, it'll be close. Now you come over to your stove, install your top section, and then just guy it out, very simply. Now I do realize that there's gonna be a tent here, and the contact point where your stove jack is, is gonna contact the stove pipe as well, and that's gonna add some rigidity as well, but not as much as you really, really want. So, think that there's a tent here, and these guidelines are gonna go out and beyond that. have it loosely guide out and you want to kind of step back and make sure that it's straight up and down. I have the stove all guide out. Now they are a tripping hazard so as you're walking around camp make sure you or your friends don't trip over it because it's connected directly to your stove. But once it's guide out it adds so much stability. The stove pipe moves a little bit. The stove itself doesn't move at all. And you can tighten as much as you want, but just don't go crazy. And the last thing I want to cover is how to actually clean these pipes. Because I know the best wood isn't always burned in these stoves, which means there's a lot of soot buildup, a lot of that creosote buildup. So once I get home, or if I have the means while I'm out in the field, if I'm car camping or something like that, my pipe sections, these are probably probably the easiest to clean because I bought this little brush. It's a hard plastic brush that you put on a drill and you literally just router it out. You get like an 18 volt or a 20 volt cordless drill and you just ream this thing out. You do it with all the pipe sections and you're you're good to go. I'll leave a link to this little brush in my in the description below because it's, it's pretty sweet but the big one is what about these stovepipe sections how do you clean these because these get pretty sooted up as well so the first thing you want to do is remove the rings because you're going to need to get to the inside of this stove now i've been burning really really good wood and i have very 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 minimal buildup on this stove but in order to clean it which is what i've done in the past i'll take it and I'll spread it out just like this. And there is some buildup here, you can see, nothing crazy. But all I do is right when I'm breaking down for camp, I'll take like a stick or, or like a, a two by four actually works really well because it has a flat edge. And I'll just scrape it. I mean, I'll just scrape it clean. Now it doesn't have to be 100% spotless. Just get a bulk of the creosote off and then next time you burn your stove, put the other end next to the stove and the other end on the spark arrestor. The closer the pipe is to the stove, the cleaner that part will be. So just flip it around next time, that'll help as well. Do you have any questions about these stove pipes or about your hot stove? Leave those questions, leave those comments down in the comment area below. If you have other ideas, leave those comments down there as well because a lot of people read them and maybe they can learn something too. But. If you haven't already, get your hot tents out, get your stoves ready to roll because winter camping season is here. So get out there, find your own adventure, and enjoy this big, beautiful world. We'll see you on the next one.